legislators to actually do our job that we're elected to do. Um, it, it, you with, know, the retroactivity. with the retroactivity, yeah. we will do everything we can to get that in bill. We're not going to allow a bill to pass here without that recommendation. I can tell you that right now. We are steadfast in that, and um, we know we're on the right side of history with that. Um, it's just a matter of getting it done. And again, Majority, Le uh, Majority Leader Dave Reed has been fantastic with this whole process. Um, I did hear that you know there's possibly that they could shorten session days. So I heard some of the you know rumors on the inside that we only have 11 days left. That maybe a little shortened days that we don't have to vote on this. That would be totally despicable. Um, uh, that when you have something as egregious as this, we should be working on this the first day that we're back and getting this amendment in it, amendment in it, getting it to the Senate. We know the governor will sign this type of reform already. He has said to me in a one-on-one -on -one meeting that this bill comes to his desk. He signs with, the, with the retroactivity. Yeah, that's it. The governor. Do you feel like he is insisting on the retroactivity as well, or do you think he would just be content signing the Senate bill as it is? I think he's going to sign the bill that comes to his desk, and if it has retroactivity in it, he's signing it. Okay. He's been very supportive. Him and, and his wife have been great um, in this whole process. When you had that news conference in the East Wing back in 2013, and you, you, uh, you know, told your story publicly. Did you think it would take until 2018 to actually get to this point? It's been a long journey from day one, from the, the day the abuse happens and, and, and suffering and going through, and then you get to that time where you're ready to yeah. talk about it, and then the church just constantly starts blocking you in every avenue. This was, I, I was expecting them to do everything they could to suppress this information. You know, the church wants to blame the victims on closing their churches, closing schools down, but in fact it's the, the church is spending money on lawyers and lobbyists and their lavish lifestyle that has closed churches and schools down, not us. So, um, you know, this is just a, a great moment for us and the collective voice of all these victims are able to get this done. Um, so, it, you know, I'm not surprised it's taken this long just because they love silence and us at every turn. And today, because of the victims, um, you know, again, collective voice, we got this done. What about the vict all the victims here? Uh, so many of them were here in public. Uh, I know we had talked earlier when this was supposed to come out. Proud of them being able to come up there? The, the, the they are the ones that are courageous and brave in this whole process. Um, now we're going to see, like the Attorney General Josh Shapiro said, are the bishops going to be brave and courageous like the victims? You know, and I love that Josh called them out. That you know, put them up and, and put them in that corner. Are you willing to do the right thing now? That you you did this damage. You're the ones that caused this mess. Um, now make it right. How brave were they? Oh, that? listen, it's um, um, you know, this is something that scars you for your life, mentally, physically. Um, the pain never goes away. You don't forget what happened to you. Um, so, you know, my heart goes out to all the victims across the state, not just the Catholic clergy victims. Um, a lot of victims are watching this today. And when we talk about statistics, 94 girls, one in six boys will be sexually abused in Pennsylvania. Those numbers are horrific. Could you repeat those numbers? One in four girls, one in six boys will be sexually abused by the age of 18 in Pennsylvania. Those are horrific numbers. And if we as legislators don't do the right thing here, then we are aiding and abetting these perpetrators to continue to do what they do. Now that the report 